Now what is a floating rate bond? So before that we have to understand what is a floating rate. Okay. So floating rate on the contrary to the fixed rate, it is a rate which is not fixed. Okay. So it is a not a fixed rate. It will be always be fluctuating. So it is always be fluctuating based on the market demand and supply. So rate would be fluctuating. So in reality we use a rate which is known as LIBOR. LIBOR is called as London Interbank Offer Rate. So LIBOR is a rate we use. LIBOR is a rate which is used in the international market today and it is considered as a benchmark for your floating rates. So you can have a floating rate bond which can be related to LIBOR. So what we say is this bond will this bond will not be your fixed coupon. So depending on the whatever the LIBOR rate, the bond will pay the coupon. So if the LIBOR rate is 5%, okay, it it may pay. So if the bond coupon you can say, okay, you can say that the bond coupon is LIBOR plus 2%. Okay. So it says that whatever is the LIBOR rate, okay, the bond will give 2% above that. Okay. So the coupon is LIBOR plus 2% or the coupon can be LIBOR plus let's say half percent. Okay. So it says that whatever the LIBOR rate, the coupon would be half percent above that. So that is your floating rate bond characteristics. Okay. However, it is not necessary that it, it has to be plus or only. It can be minus also. So some bonds can say that, okay, we will give whatever the LIBOR rate, I will give half percent less than the LIBOR. Okay. So this is what you can have. So what will happen is this floating rate bond, the coupon will be changing as per the LIBOR rate. So consider, let's say this is the time the LIBOR rate in the floating rate bonds okay, are decided at the advance. Okay. So this is let's say t equal to zero. So this is your t equal to zero. So what we say is okay, you have for the coupon will be paid in t equal to one. But how much the coupon you will pay over here, it will be decided at this point only. So at this point only you will decide how much coupon will be paid. So let's say this this coup, the coupon payment is done every six months. So here what you have is the bond is paying a coupon of so every six months the bond will pay coupon okay now this coupon is the coupon rate that is decided over here the coupon rate you will decide it over here that means how much coupon will be paid okay so how it will be decided so here you will find out what is the LIBOR rate okay let's say the six so since the bond is paying coupon every six months you will need to understand you need to find out what is the six month LIBOR rate so here you have what is a six month LIBOR rate. Let's say the six month LIBOR rate is 2%. Okay. And the bonds coupon is decided as LIBOR plus half percent. So you have said that the bonds coupon is LIBOR plus half percent. The six month LIBOR rate is 2%. How much will be the coupon you will get over here? 2.5% will be the coupon. So here you will be getting 2. That means like what is happening is in one period before you know that what is the coupon that you will be getting after one period. Okay. So same way here you will have another six month LIBOR rate. So here you will say that what is the six month rate. So six month LIBOR rate, let's say it comes as 3%. The coupon you will be paying is 3.5%. Please note that for any investment there will always be a required rate. Okay. You cannot have any investment which, which is not with the required rate. Okay. In this case, the required rate is your LIBOR plus half percent. So you are saying that I want whatever is the LIBOR plus half percent I want. Only thing is it is not fixed. It is fluctuating. So your required rate is dependent on the LIBOR rate. Like many people say that, right? I, I will not fix my thing. I will leave it to the market. So if the LIBOR rate increases, your return will be increasing. If LIBOR rate decreases, your return will be decreasing. So you will be as per your LIBOR rates, you will be deciding as your required rate. So here I will say that since you are agreeing on this LIBOR plus 0.5, your required rate is LIBOR plus 0.5.